In the San Pablo Bay wetlands, you will find a startling array of waterfowl, waterbirds, and shorebirds, making it one of the most important places for birds in all of San Francisco Bay. A couple of years ago, Audubon, California began talking with the San Pablo Bay National Wildlife Refuge about how we might work together to improve some of this amazing habitat. One area of the refuge presented a great opportunity. Decades ago, a series of artificial levees had been built on Tubbs Island, which restricted the natural flow of water in and out of the marsh, and because of that, birds weren't able to use this area as they normally would. In December of 2009, the project was completed, and these important marshes began a new life. of the marsh and our surveys show for several years that we don't get a lot of mice in here and we don't get clapper rails in here so even though you see pickleweed um, it really wasn't as healthy as it could be. So we dug a new channel through this levee. This levee has been here for over 100 years. It's the first time this marsh is connecting to this creek and then we'll be able to train out into the bay. We've now broken through this levee and we've got all these mud flats. About 20 minutes ago there's cold water in here and Water's draining out, and you can see the dowagers over here are happily feeding in this mud. Just a little feeding frenzy. Lots of invertebrates are getting exposed in the mud, and they're doing a little sewing machine needle feeding style where they're feeding on invertebrates in the mud. A big component of the program, and Audubon is to thank for this, um, is really volunteer driven. So we do a lot of science, but we have volunteers involved in it. John's a really big player with the birds. We have people, volunteers, who helped out with the mammal surveys, with the vegetation surveys. There's always a lead science person, but we have a lot of community involvement. The work here today is opening up a channel. Uh, it's really revitalizing part of a tidal marsh here at San Pablo Bay National Wildlife Refuge and it's an indication of the type of work that Audubon does well. We've brought together not only uh, resources to help the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we've brought volunteers on the ground uh, and we've really helped build a partnership to help restore and make healthy again a tidal marsh that's going to benefit a whole range of bird species, black rail, clapper rail and dozens of shorebird species. 